Let's get into the trailer. You want to have an intro and everything, too? What's that? You want to have a whole in, like an intro? Or is this just going to come on from like, you show the little dots real quick, and just the clip, and then it fades into us just holding the conversation? We, we, yeah, I have to like sit down and just understand what, what we can do with all that. Any, we can do whatever we want to do. But let's just rebuttal the next generation of media, like where the media is going. I'll let you focus on media. I'll focus on people. Okay. What's next? So what's next? Like, I am seeing, I'm looking toward our future right now. Looking toward our future. What, what will happen and how will people like really communicate? Because we, in the last generation, I mean, generations before us, it was, it was people were communicating by snail mail, if you could believe that. And then it turned into email. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay, I was taking that very seriously. <laughs> snail mail, I, I was like, snail mail, I've never heard of that. I was like trying to get into my head. Of it. <laughs> and it never heard of snail mail. Snail mail, okay, snail mail. mail. Bitch. He walks through your door. Really? Hello. Really? Here you go. Right? Okay, yes. <laughs> And then we went to email. Then that went to cell phones, text message, and what has recently emerged is how people get information and all those things is social media. Where? What's next? Well, so this is Moen and CJ coming on to you from Dallas Trail. I was waiting for him to stop his mouth. You can see <laughs> how loud of a mouth he has. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Now, long story short, the next generation of communication and this is what we were brainstorming you know where this thing called communication is going in the future and it, it, it is changing right now mm -hmm. it is in the verge of a massive shift when was the last time you watched television i mean if you're if you're, if you're like really into personal development i don't think you have watched television when was the last time you watched television i'm gonna say 97 27. I mean, we have televisions, we have, we, but we are not watching TV. We are playing video games and, you know, watching, connecting our laptops, our cell phones in the television. We're not watching, nobody, I'm not going to pay for cable anymore. I'm not going to yeah. pay for cable anymore. I don't think you're going to pay for cable anymore. That's like a waste of money when you have internet, which is free, free, basically free. Yeah. So the reason why we are doing this thing called Dallas Real it is, a, it is a fascinating story that you have to be a part of to understand where this is going. I will not give it away like that. Right. You have to be on the next level to even understand and see where this is going to go. Or just keep tuning in. You have to keep tuning in because right now we are in the verge of a massive shift in media, communications, and basically just you know, networking. This is basically networking. And I, when I was a kid, I was naturally good at public speaking. Mm. I was good at it, but I, I had lax and, you know, I had to polish it. Right. I understood that I had to polish it and it is very important in the marketplace. Trust me, you can graduate from school and you can do whatever you want. You're going to go to the marketplace. You have to understand public speaking and how to have a conversation with a group of people. He was really good at it. You were really good at it, right? But we both knew that we had to improve and take our game to the next level by polishing it in certain ways, watching how we do it. This is how basically Dallas Real was created. I was playing around, you know, recording stuff when I was traveling and then I was interested in this camera. I can see myself later speaking, right. cultivating and seeing how I behave, how I react. And it, it has a lot more than just speaking yeah. on camera. It has a lot of things that, that, are, that are underneath the surface that you don't see. Your personality, your, uh, the way you communicate, the way you maintain eye contact. There's a lot more than this shit. This is fascinating for me and him because now we are learning. Now, this is the reason why we're going to go through this path. It's called the hero's journey. I call it the hero's journey. I don't know what you call it. Uh, don't call it, you know, stars and shit like that, please. I mean, on, bro. keep it, it real. It is the story of the stars. <laughs> too much. You know keep too much. In, in the future. So, what we're doing is we are going to play with it and see where this takes us. It's a fascinating thing that we don't know where it's gonna go. Internet has been created for like 
we're using internet for like 10 years now, yeah. 15 years now, maximum, like full-fledgedly public is using the internet. Right. And already we are, we are seeing so much change. We don't know where this is going to go. But this is why I wanted to create a show, not a show, a couple of shows where I will be put accountable. Now, because I have a show, I am accountable to create content, to create and research. It keeps me interesting. It keeps the whole thing interesting. I mean, what is the point of being Dallas Real? I mean, uh, if it was not interesting enough. Yeah. Well, your point, I guess that was from Moyne's perspective. He forgot to put all of that in quotations. He spoke for the both of us. That's very no, I'm, I'm, I'm not done yet. Why would you hear me like this? I'm not done yet. I mean, I'm giving you the camera. What would you want? Your guy. He's sweet. Why wouldn't you want to be around somebody like that? But thanks, hun. I don't need a salad today. Excuse I think me. I would like my steak. Excuse me. The reason I, you know, that's how Dallas Real really started for me. And Dallas right. Real started, my man more created Dallas Real. But it didn't really start in my heart and my soul until I found. Too much heart. No. <laughs> I, it, because it goes there. Too dramatic. Overacting. You guys have to say it. Overacting. See, you want to know his problem? Oh, he believes that the, your truth lies when you start acting. But this is authenticity and that's why people connect that's why I connect to them that's why they connect to me but I had a message that I wanted to get across I have a message about how much you should educate yourself if you are trying to you know reach new levels or take it to the next level as my man here loves to say so it's important for you to be able to express yourself and that for me is the biggest thing when you say freedom that's my ultimate freedom being able to express myself however I so choose and not really worrying about what the outside world will, you know what I'm saying, what they will take of it or, or how they take me after it. If I present some information for you, it's up to you and how you receive it. I can't control those things for you, but we are creating this channel so that you can log on and gain information or see and envision yourself in doing what you love to do. And so I think in the future, I don't know, we haven't talked about this, but this just popped into my head. It seems like a great idea for people to be able to submit videos into us so that we can see them in their lives mm -hmm. and how much their lives have changed. And maybe they can be on the show and things like that. Yeah, I mean, okay, so this Dallas Real thing, there is a lot of things that are, gonna, that are happening behind, the, behind just this. There's a lot of things. There's video productions, there's mm. editing, there's music production. There's a lot of things that are going here. I'm playing with this, he's playing, we're enjoying this life of, our, life of ours we're recording. We're, we're documenting this whole thing. Now, uh, digital marketing and ad creations is a big market. Yeah. One of the big, biggest markets right now because it's, it's, it's tech, it's, it's media, it's a different format. A lot of people still haven't had a hold of that. Yeah. 20 second videos you know what I mean you, you see what I'm saying like that is a big market that that we are into right now this is what we started we enjoy doing yeah talking on camera this is enjoyment this is that's why we do this for free this is like I'm playing this is what I want to do for my life you know what I mean right. I mean I'm gonna one day we're gonna go travel and then we're gonna record and see just pick our brains and create a lot of things now if somebody is interested and somebody sees this and gets inspired and he starts doing his own thing and he starts evaluating new information, bring it to us. We'll yeah. share it. We'll have a Skype conversation. We'll network. We'll communicate. You might be an artist. I might know another artist. We'll hook you up together. I might know somebody who has a gallery, uh, uh, has a gallery where you can have your art there. I, I know a lot of even uh, producers who uh, have who produces shows like live concerts right in, in, in the area or in Dallas, we'll hook you up, doesn't matter. I don't care. Yeah. Do you care? No, I don't really care. I think that's one of my problems. I mean, I, I, mean, I would tell me it's one of my problems. I don't care. Is that? Oh, the sound. That's what she said. Too dramatic. He just takes on, it too man. dramatic. I'm just, I'm just saying. Can he not see it? Saying. Way too dramatic. That's what she Way said. Too I, can't, I can't control Too that. much. That's too hard. much. It's Kind of Listen, if you want I don't to know where this is going to go with this guy. Hey, man, I'm Still closing like the show. Okay. Let me close the show. Listen, if you want to put your talents on display, put your talents on display. your videos to us, we'll help you connect to the world. This is Dallas Real Networks. I'm CJ. I'm